Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you guys? I hope everybody's well. Aries, today will do your daily reading or your weekend reading for the 8th and the 9th of February. As you always know, these are general readings. May resonate with you. Why not? Take it accordingly. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for the Aries. Let's see here, loves, while well, we got the messages from the Lenormand and, of course, from the Spirit Guides and the Tarot Guides. Let's see here, daily energies, as you always know, could be just for this day, could be for a bigger energy that could be a month, a week, even longer. Let's see here, loves. Some of you be very aware your temper might be higher. For some of you, somebody here is returning back. Somebody who you've been waiting or you've been separated from this person for quite a, a while right now here. Yes. There is something here. The way it ended, this person didn't like it. But also, at the same time, I don't feel this person, Aries, been very honest to you. But I definitely see here, you do have the key to the heart for this person. Yes, you are definitely separated from this person. But it is a new beginning. Also, be aware that this person, yes, they do come back here. But trust actions, not words. It is a new beginning and is a more stable new beginning. Also, this person might tell you they did change. Also, I see here there is some yell, somebody else in between you two or have been between you two. That's why I feel here was somebody here dishonest who did separate it. For some of you could be a friend. For some of you could be this person needed to cut off somebody from their life. If you wait for somebody, they will come back. But something is not quite right. It's a matter of time. This person's still very, very much indecisive. Okay? All right, loves. I definitely see here somebody is waiting for a stable commitment. And somebody here is about to take it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Somebody here needs to let go somebody. But I feel here that could be a third party. They need to let it go. For some of you, you've been a long time period with that person. And as you find out, you you told them to, to be off. And if they were not in the middle of time, that's over. And also I feel here somebody has trust issues here. It's like I don't trust if they've been done once, how I should believe them twice. Let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising sign and Venus signs, what the spirit guides are giving us. There is some resistance here. Yeah. Even it's, it's like I'm not moved on. Yeah, there was a lot of betrayal in here. Could be a water sign, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel here. You might still love this person, but definitely was a betrayal. Somebody here is telling you that this is not quite what you've seen or what you know. It's like you don't know everything here. But I see you turn your back to this person. And it's like words and whatever was spoken was, was not to your good. Yeah. It is an energy here to moving on. Also, is somebody here coming into into with an offer here? If you deal in the past with an air sign, I see a lot of air and water. If you deal with an Aquarius Gemini Libra person, there will be a talk with this person. But I feel here you need to make a choice here between an air sign and a water sign. King of Cups, Queen of Swords, uh, King of Swords, but definitely somebody you separated from, they will come back to you. Could be a legal separation, and that person will offer you their cup of love, 
I don't feel you very much taking it. If it's somebody from your past who wants to return, I don't see you taking it here. I see here is a new offer. For some of you, you might have children with that past person, but you don't trust them. Okay? You don't trust them. I feel here you, you're still in your thoughts. And there's some regrets regards a child or a family member here. Whatever they offer you was very small. Okay? Let's see here. For some of you, you, you change your location, your home, or just energetically, energetically trying to move on from this person. Okay? And you feel it's just a matter of time for me to move on. Somebody here put you in a third party and lied to you, basically. L lied to you about the lover or basically lied to you that they truly love you or you are the one for them. For some of you, it is coming somebody here with a new offer, but you don't trust. Could be a friend. This King of Cups is coming towards you, my loves could be vice versa but I feel here you don't really trust this person or your trust being betrayed here yeah absolutely you might feel like I I don't have too much to offer and I see you a little holding back here and again it's a betrayal from the past is coming here to you but Spirit says you need to, to change this thing about because not everybody is the same person you've been dealing. Just be careful because you have a new beginning here and you might miss a very good opportunity just to not trust. Spirit says give it a chance. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Yes. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, you might be married with that person, you might have children with that person. And I feel here, somebody here, definitely use your kindness for your weakness. Very, very immature person, very much with a lot of secrets, a lot of lies. Oof. Definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, is a Pisces, that person, or they have Pisces in the chart. But I feel here, for some of you, you are moving on with a water sign or an earth sign. But you need to choose here. For some of you, Aries is a Leo here. But definitely it is a new beginning. Somebody here hold on on, on a relationship just because of the children. But somebody here has something to do with sexual activities or intimacy very 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 much in that energy with that knight of wands and ace of wands when i do have those cards together that is about sex somebody here could have intimacy with somebody else and you might found out here definitely there is a lot of secrets between you two why the lovers is here page of wands absolutely there is a new beginning here is a new offer coming towards you for some of you definitely this person will contact you again after no communication I don't feel you are communicate with this person who lied to you or betrayed you the high priest is no talking the two of swords is no talking okay even they come back to offer you their cup of love, I feel here you you will think a lot about it. Will be in your head a lot. But I don't see you very much shaking it because you have a new offer here. This person might imply because of the children and things like that. I don't feel they are very honest to you, my loves. So be be careful who you are keeping or taking back. You do absolutely have new love here, but it's a kind of hesitance over there. You might not see here this opportunity here because you are might be focused on this person from your past. For some of you, Spirit says, clear the energy around you. Also, 
free yourself from a past energy here. If you wait for a change from that person, the change needs to happen within you, inside you to move forward. You do have somebody very good coming towards you. This King of Cups could be you. You might give all your love to somebody who is very cold to you. Okay? Because when I do see here King of Swords, no offense to the air science, but King of Swords for me is a very cold energy. Very, very rough. It's like an iceberg when I do see here. And I don't say that was no love in the past because there was good energy between you two in the past. When was honesty and was fulfillment? Yes, did happen. But I feel here, as here we had good energy, good vibes, but definitely it is a third party. Either from your side, either from their side. Somebody here step out from the connection. Okay? Also, for those of you who are waiting for somebody for a long time here, this person might come the next holiday, which is the February 4th, the Valentine's. For some of you, whatever next holiday is here, because Three of Cups in the time frame here, could be the next holiday, could be within three months or even sooner. Okay? For some of you, you break up with somebody six months ago or in Libra season, which is October, end of September, going October. For some of you, you start a new job, Aries, a new job who will bring you more finances. Also, Spirit says, for you to be happy, you need to be a little bit more careful with your words or whatever you say. Because sometimes, even you don't really raise your voice, some people feel that you raise your voice or it is like a, a voice tone. And going with kindness, you will win more battles than you think. Also, if somebody's coming back to you, don't treat them as they treat you. Because, as you always know, everybody gives, projects, offers what they do have inside them. And if they lie to you, betrayed you, is what they do have inside them. What you need to give them is your kindness. Because, as you always know, kill them with your kindness. Because many people, they cannot deal with kind people. Because, believe it or not, I never call evil, but I the bad energies don't like the good ones, and vice versa. But being good and kindness will make somebody to think, why they treat me so good if I treat them this way? And does not mean every time I tell people treating somebody good does not mean you want them back or you allow them to come back into your life. It's because you give that energy so that energy will come to you so you will move towards somebody good and kind. Okay? I definitely see here somebody here who is in that phase of energy will will go forward with this for many of you i definitely see here there are good energy coming towards you let's see here my loves aries sun moon rising signs and venus signs oof okay this full moon will be a very strong energy for you let's see Yes, a lot of uh, energy who've been floating around or a lot of, I don't know what to do, a lot of miscommunication or the things you didn't know or you've been confused of, they will come clear. Yes, there is some movement forward here. Trust the universe because the universe is bringing you clarity, my loves. 
and whatever was not quite there now it is movement it's like the weight is over whatever didn't work whatever didn't work now you have a new beginning here for some of you definitely what I get here for those of you who didn't have a job or an income quite a while could be since many of you say like I cannot be with a job a long time but I see here somebody who struggle with finding a stable job I don't say that she the person I see here the energy I see here was not in a job could be in a part-time job or in out job but I feel here somebody struggle quite a bit here with their finances and now it's something stable when I say stable it's a full-time job which will work very good for you and also will pick up later this year this year most likely in in the summer absolutely for some of you you've been juggling jobs for quite a while but now it's coming definitely something stable so yes my lovelies Aries this is what I got for you for this weekend and I hope resonates for some of you and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time blessings to all of you happy weekend bye for now